Whenever you encounter an item in Launch Bar that has the right arrow next to it, you can, so to say, step into this item. You do this by pressing the right arrow key while the item is selected. Launch Bar will then display a list of items that are somehow contained in or related to it. Let's take the file system as an example. When you encounter a folder item in Launch Bar, like the Documents folder, you can browse its contents by simply pressing the right arrow key or cursor right. Launch Bar will list all files and folders that reside in the Documents folder. You can of course step deeper into subfolders or press the left arrow key to step one level up again. Another example would be your iTunes library. You can, for instance, browse your collection of albums and further down into a specific album to see all the songs on it. You can also use browsing to list details about some item, like for a contacts item. When you press the right arrow key to browse into a contacts item, Launch Bar will list all email addresses, phone numbers, Twitter handle, etc. of that person. You can also use browsing on applications. What this actually does depends on the application. For most apps, Launch Bar will simply list the documents recently opened with it. But for certain apps, Launch Bar will offer special functionality. If you step into the iTunes app item, for example, you can browse your iTunes library. In the Contacts app item, you can browse all your contacts, as well as various categories they can be grouped by. And in the Safari application item, you can browse into your bookmarks, history, reading list, and more. So, generally speaking, you can use browsing to reveal information somehow related to the item currently selected.